Let's get it. Let's go, man. Welcome back. Chuck's Daily Hustle. You know where you at. If you haven't already, man, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment below, hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date and you can see all these auctions, man. So right now we at Odessa, Minneapolis once again. I'm looking for some uh, cheap cars, like always. And um, yeah, so we're going to check out uh, these cars first, man. Um, my brother's out here. He's in, right there in the uh, Ford Expedition. So you can see they got the... I'm moving too fast, y'all. They got the Sienna. The Focus, the Plymouth Breeze. They got a Sebring over here, which is pretty clean. You already drove the Sebring? Oh, it's messed up. This thing is faded, so I don't even want that. That Sienna, timing is off. It's right, it says it right there. The time is off, so nobody's gonna want that. This little Focus, it's a little wagon. These is kind of hard to sell, so I'm not gonna rock with that for now, unless they don't have anything at all. Got a little, look. They got a little uh, cord that's got 225 on it. Uh, I think we should drive it if it starts up. People love, uh, people love Hondas, man. Regardless, so I think we should drive it and see what happens. Uh, let's see, man. I don't know if that, I can hear something clicking a, or tapping a little bit, but I don't think that's the motor. Ugh. Oh no, that's like the alternator or something. That's one of them uh, tensioners, tensioner pulleys. It's got a valve cover leak, but it's not, don't seem to be dripping. Must have just started. Let's see how it looks up under here. Oh, it's real wet. Wheel right up under there. So I'm gonna stay away from this one. Got a little dirty getting up under there. Oh. I'm gonna stay away from that one, y'all. They got a Subaru. What is this? Let me show y'all the whole glimpse of this joint. Got a Subaru. This might, just because of this being off, this might go low. Oh, it's only got 42,000 miles on it, though. And it's a manual. So, no go for me. They got the Passat. I mean, the Jetta. It's a little rusty right there. Uh, door lock. This got 192, so this might be something. I wonder if my brother started up my brother started this one. Oh, it's got a flat tire so that means i gotta come back with a damn to air up the tire so we're gonna leave this one alone for right now y'all uh, got a pt cruiser y'all know i sold that last one pretty quick this one's got a well no i didn't it took me like a month but this one's got a cracked windshield and it's got the same rims as the other one. This must be a limited. Nope. Oh, this damn pet hair in here, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see all that. Damn pet hair. It's a cloth interior. Tires are okay in the back. Front, man. Yeah. These just, they don't need some tires, but I can sell that the way it is. Let me see if it starts up, I guess. Got 144 on it. I just heard a weird sound. Sound like that was there. The seat got the trunk light on. Oh, you don't shut it, I don't think. Alright, let's see if this trunk shut, yo. what it's doing right now it's not opening so i'm gonna see if we gotta unlock it or something oh okay so we can still huh. they rigged it but it's all good because we can fix it so let's put her on the road 
you do. They got let's see the windows work. Yeah, windows work right there. Obviously the radio work. So I'm about to be sweating in about two seconds, y'all. The AC is uh, blowing warm, and we gotta do a little test drive. So let's see, man. That windshield's gonna cost me like two hundred dollars. See, see if it needs something. AC recharge. That's nothing but two cans of Freon. So that's uh, two ten. The engine and training's good. I'm at sixty right now, but I'm getting a little bit of shaking in the steering wheel. So that means that. The Two of these tires in the front need to be replaced if I want to, uh, you know, skate by. Oh, stuck. I don't know what that was, y'all. I think it was the seat. Oh, it's his drawer. Um, anyways, so two of these uh, tires need to be replaced if I want to do, like, the bare minimum to get that shake on, which I'm sure it will. Um, or I can do all four. I would probably do two just because I would want to get $1,500 for this car. So 1,500 to 1,700. So I'm not, I wouldn't be trying to push towards um, like the $2,200 range just because of like how the economy is right now and just not knowing when people will have money. And this is an older car anyway. Um, another thing I was going to say was, oh, then we got to do that trunk. So I'll just say, let's just say $100 right there. So that's three, but we're at about 320 parts and labor of what it needs so far so with that being said and if if it doesn't need a recharge then you know you might throw another hundred so that's 320 to 420 on parts and labor on the stuff to make it be uh presentable i'm gonna raise this window down y'all i'm sweating like a mug um so i don't know man i probably try to go like 400 dollars on this car might be able to get it for like 350 um and then that way i can be at about eight to nine um out the door like with once they uh well actually be at nine because they're gonna charge you like 150 for uh that's that's the garbage something wrong with that one something wrong with that one yeah i didn't buy it yeah um that was my brother, so it was a uh, silver Volvo that just ran last week. I didn't buy it because something was wrong with it. But, um, anyways, the uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be at like 900, 950 probably, which is fine because if I can make 550, I'm cool with it. But I'm gonna see, man, see if we can find something that don't really need nothing. That way, we can just kind of you know get them and post them and uh, you know do what we got to do. So, on to the next ones, man. All right, man, they got a little Aveo, but... Oh, they got a little Aura, man. I've never seen a um, Saturn Aura hybrid. I don't rock with these these hybrid batteries, though, y'all. Oh, they got a Kia Spectra. I think my, my brother already drove that, so... I'm about to mess with this uh, Kia Spectra. Make sure he didn't put this on his list already. Nope, he didn't, so we are gonna rock. Let's see, what the, let's, let's see what it looks like, though, y'all. Tires is cool. Yep, they cool. They like 50% tread. Oh, this is a, man, I'm stupid as hell, y'all. This is a damn Corolla. <laughs> uh, I ain't even messing with this car, y'all. These go up for a lot, man, and I ain't trying to go in that price range with no cars. Uh, the Odyssey, I don't rock with them. Them transmissions usually go bad. Uh, they got an Altima there. Well, they got a little Civic. That's a manual, so I'm not gonna rock with that. They got the Toyota Avalon, I believe. Yeah, to um, drive it for a while and let it run. I think the engine was clicking last week. Uh, yeah. Uh, they got a Saab with 119 on it. They got a uh, Volvo. I'm a, oh, damn. Five speed. Y'all, they killing me with these five speeds today. Cadillac Katera or Catara, whatever you want to call it. 69,000 miles on this one. It looks like it's been sitting in the country because you can see this dirt, how, how like, I don't know how to explain it, but that 
color dirt. The tires seem to be good. All right, the AC not working. Check engine lights on and brake to shift. That just means put the brake on. They got this dash tore up like they were messing with fuses. So we're gonna leave you alone. I'm straight. You should dry that again then. You gonna let, oh, you let it run? Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna follow him because he usually finds all the good cars. So, uh, <laughs> nah, we both going the same direction though. What what did you uh put on your list so far? Just three cars. What kind of cars? All that Altima? Yeah. Well, he put, oh, Taurus, okay. And then, uh, and Expedition. Oh, and Expedition, okay. This nigga think he's slick, man, hopped in my car. He tried to get in there quick, too. <laughs> Another uh try to zoom in. Another jet over there. It ain't too much uh out right now. Mess with this max. So this week y'all I'm planning on going to Mannheim. Now I can get y'all some videos there too. So I just been kind of busy, so I just been hitting up these Odessa auctions. But so this is a max man, he's pretty much sell pretty good. It's rushing through right there. I mean, you would consider that side pretty clean for a Minnesota car. It's got 158 on it. Yeah, this might be cool. See how this interior, oh, and it's black. So the black interior, that's even better. I wonder if it starts up. Let's see. Oh yeah, she started. Oh, that AC, that AC came on immediately. Somebody already drove it. Yeah, temperature gauge. You and your family was so, safe. Probably was that dude, that uh, older guy that was driving. He probably already looked at it. My brother looking at that, uh, he looking at that Impala. I'm gonna let him have at it. I was looking at that Passat, the uh, the older Passat. I was looking at that online, but it looks horrible. Oh shit, look at that. They got a uh, the V8, at the V8 uh, Volvo S80. That's a rare find, y'all. I'm gonna um, come back and draw that. Uh, that's something I would uh, buy. I would go high on that. So, I'm gonna see what's up. The only thing with Volvos, man, is them damn parts be expensive, man. I was telling y'all before about that, uh, that 06 or 08 S60 I had, same body style and everything. It had the V6 in it and um, I sold I sold the car, but before that, I had to put a four or $500 radiator in and shit. Um, I couldn't find it used. Um, and then also, oh, hold up, I gotta pop this trunk for this dude. Security guy. Yeah, so. Ah, oh, man, you hurt my head, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, no money in there. There's no money in there. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal, man? Nothing, man. We just we just getting to it, man. <laughs> All right, so you waiting on him to hit the gate. All right. So, um, man, I lost my train of thought, man. That dude, he cool as hell. He always uh, cracking a joke. But, anyways, let's get on there. I'm hearing a little scraping on the brakes. feel soft too not super soft but they feel soft Let's see if I can hear anything I think I hear a heat shield cut this arrow the 
the transmission is, and it's got, it's got power, but I'm getting a little bit of weird. Yeah, we ain't gonna go too far. So it needs brakes and rotors. I feel that pulsating. Um, and then I don't know if y'all can notice that I'm driving and for me to go straight, I gotta have a, the, uh, the damn steering wheel turn to the left a little bit. Uh, these control arms and these uh, Malibus go bad. So, and they're like, I think they're like a hundred dollars. So um, it probably needs a control arm. And then it's gonna need alignment and then front brakes and rotors. So that's like $300. So I don't know how much I would go on these. These maxes, they hold their value really, really well. So, um, but we'll see. I might be able to get it for like 500, five to seven. If I can get it for seven, I'll buy it. Because um, like I said, man, these maxes, people love them. Nick, you can probably you can probably sell it for like 25. Maybe even more. I might be lowballing right now. Forgot how many miles is on this joint. But oh uh, back to the Volvo, man. So what I was saying about that was um I sold the car, so I put it in a five hundred dollar part, then some other parts went bad, like uh a control arm or something like that. And then uh basically after I had sold the car, but he had it for like six months and it was a younger dude. But um I ended up, because all my people, um, they um, end up getting fixed by my mechanic. So, um, well, most people. So, uh, anyways, those parts for that was like $400, and um, the labor wasn't nothing at all, but the uh, the parts were super expensive, and um, it took us a while to get them. We had a special order room, and it was just, it was just a big headache. So, um, I've been kind of staying away from Volvos, like the newer Volvos, because of that. But that don't matter to me right now because that V8 is something to reckon with, for real. And that S80, it should be an S80. I know y'all probably tired of me talking. I might edit some of this out because I'll be doing a lot of talking. I feel like y'all want to see more cars. Going on to the beauty. It's an 07. Them tires is good. I don't know if y'all can see that. Them tires is Gucci. Um, the rims, they can get cleaned up. The interior is cool. Who's selling this? Ember Grove Honda. So this is a good seller. This is a franchise dealer. So you know I'm on it. Y'all know where I'm buying from. Y'all hear the V8? Some great. Got it. And this is an old seven, so ah oh, shit, come on, yeah. Damn. Man, it's, it's gonna be a lot of people sleeping on this, I promise you. And I just found something, y'all. I'm about to take out of this joint. Found me a little light, a little lighter uh little charger. I was been needing one of those. Sometimes you get free stuff. <laughs> Let's see what this I know it's over here somewhere. Yep. See that V8? Man, I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna look for an oil leak real quick. Cause the last one I had had a bad oil leak. I had to fix that. Look what we found. Found a Mazda Tribute. It's got 153 on it. I don't know if it's all wood drive or not. This is cool. This is basically a Ford Escape, y'all. But uh, people love Mazdas over four because obviously they don't think that it's a four all right it's got an aftermarket pioneer in there a little cheap cd player windows work see these tires the tires are okay they could use them for sure Chip there. Pop this hood real fast. Cooling a little bit low. I look normal. I'm not gonna check for a leak because they're not known to leak. So, oh, it's my shortest hill in here. Alright, let's throw this on the road. Alright, let's see. Nothing but tire tire noise right now. All the way. And I heard some clunking. So this thing needs tires all around. Shit. So 
I'm about to, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to call my uh, my tire spot, get them a call, see what they got in this size, and then that way I can gauge um, exactly how much I'll be into the car. So it shifted good, but like I said, that tire noise is crazy. Everything seems to be all right. I heard a little clunk back there. I don't know if that's something like loose back there or what. Oh, it's probably that little lift gate thing. But yeah, that's what it is. But just driving it, y'all. Just trying to see if I can hear anything outside of that noise. Let's get it a little bit more up to speed. That's all it needs is tire. So I'm gonna um, hit them up and then see where we at with that. Um, that noise probably scares some people. So um, yeah, we might try to grab this one. Found me a Jetta. Just a little bit scraped up right there. Got some tape. These tires are just off the chain. Oh, it's locked. Oh, this is pretty damn clean. It's got a little rust over here. You gotta check this one for all these though. Ah. Start it up. No check engine light on it either. It's got 114. Every time I said what is the timing belt done? All the fucking time. And I always price them super low. So that way, if they do need to do a topping belt, then they ain't got nothing to worry about. But we got an oil leak, and that probably is from like an hour, so we're going to leave this one alone. Ugh. It's probably an easy fix, but it's probably not, so we ain't going to risk it. Leave this one alone. Ugh. So, let's see what we got here. Got a sky on. This one's manual. All right, I ain't gonna put this one on the video, y'all. I'll come back and drive this one. I think I drove this one last week, though, because that mirror, I don't know. Yeah, I, it's a manual, so I'm, I'm gonna drive it. And if y'all wondering why I'm thinking about driving that one, opposed to all the other manuals, because um, people actually buy those when they're manuals. Like, sky on is like, they're made by Toyota and especially like their, I guess, premium brand. But uh, people love those and they love for them to be uh, manuals because you can basically, you know, trick them out and make them faster and all that good shit. Let's see what they got over here. These are all small dealers, so we ain't gonna rock with none of these guys. This little CTS been sitting here for a while. Might be rocking with that. Little Mazda, who's selling that? Uh, look, they be so thirsty, they don't even put who's selling it so that they <laughs> so they can try to get a better number. Let's see. No, these are small dealers too. Yeah, seller unknowns. They playing around out here. So today, man, I am looking at some uh, newer cars that I got on my list. Um, there's some newer cars out here that I'll be looking at with higher mileage, but I'm gonna get to that in a second. I'm trying to see if they got some some dope vehicles over here. So I was looking at like some 2014s and stuff like that. Look at that, they got the uh, GTI, I think that's what they call those. People love those too. Man, I'm trying to hit the market from every angle, man. Like. I'm done playing around, man. This whole coronavirus stuff, though, man, it's just slowing 
everything up. Oh, look at this. I got a customer for this truck. Oh, shit. If, it's, if this is an FX4, man, we are. I don't think it is, though. No, shit. That was an FX4. My brother found my car that was on my list. They got the 08. This is an expedition. You drove this? Probably trying to mess with this. Credit acceptance is selling this one. Oh shit, need a jump. I ain't got my damn jump pack, so I gotta come back. Man, they had a 200 or some shit out here that I was looking at. Look at that Avenger all smashed up. That's 15, 200. They got the Beamer over here. See, I'm gonna probably, I don't know if I'm a matter of fact, yeah, why not? It's got 197 on it. I think this thing is front wheel drive though. Ah, it's dead too. The day that I forget my jump pack, y'all. It's all good. I'm coming. I gotta come back anyway, probably. Oh, it's all-wheel drive. Yeah, we most definitely gotta come back with the jump pack. That's a lick right there, even with the mileage. That's a 15. 66,000 miles on it, so that ain't gonna work. All right, man. We're gonna do this video like we did the last ones. Um, oh, let me show y'all some of this. What's over here, though? Just before I... This auction is garbage compared to other auctions. Like, this is a pretty small auction, so they don't have all that good stuff. So, if y'all haven't already, man, go check out the uh, the Mannheim videos I got. The Mannheim auction videos. Um, that way you can see, like, kind of the newer cars. My brother has got me to my car before I could get there. and 10 bins. Oh, it sounded like something was messed up. Then he turned back around. Yeah, something wrong. We got a little Honda. Miles on here. This one got 187 and it's a coupe. Who's selling it? Poquette. Poquette be wanting money for their stuff, though. They see they detail all their cars, dude. Every single car they detail, they want all their money. So sometimes you just don't waste your time, man. Like, I've been coming here so long that I just know who gonna give me a good deal and who not. Shit, they they sell theirs like like we about to charge five thousand dollars for a damn fifteen hundred dollar car. Yeah, man, I'm not finding nothing else, man. See this little out. Oh, this was oh yeah. I'm gonna rock with this Acura, y'all. Let's do this. Let's make this the last one. Yeah, Poquette on it. Ah, uh, it's Poquette, man. I ain't rocking with them. Fuck. All right, y'all. I'm going to come back later, man. Uh, I'm going to do a uh, part two like we did the last uh, adjusted video because I got stuff to do at the office and everything. And I got to drop some um, some paperwork off. That was messed up, huh? Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess it's cool. Did you throw it on the highway? Uh, you better throw it on highway. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to get out of here, man. And I'm going to see y'all in the next uh, on part two. Maybe I'll drop it the same day. But I uh, appreciate y'all, like always. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, share, comment below. Um, let me know what you think. I'm out.